Yeah, we about to order some that doesn't exist. And Porno, he swears he knows this guy. He swears he knows this guy he works at the window. Okay, go ahead. Uh, hey, um. What time you get off? You know what, um. What time you get off? I have to ask you something. What time do you get off tonight? Hey. Yeah, you. You. Okay. Who's this? You know who this is. This is Crispy. I have no idea. Oh, you know who this is. Don't play dirty. Hey, you, you know what? Um, yeah. I need you. I need you to do something for me. I need the Kentucky bourbon, uh -huh. the, the Kentucky bourbon burger, and um, I need you to do something special with it. I need you to take the bun and wipe your ass with it. Are you going to order something or not? Well, baby, you know what my order is. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I think, I think mission accomplished here. He's getting a little uncomfortable. I think it's not safe for us anymore, so we're gonna get out of here. We're live right now. We're live right now in Inglewood. This is my city. All right, all right, all right. I think it's about time for the show. Everybody, please take your seat. Ed Magic TV. Let's have a good time. Uh, I'm your host, Apollo. Raw and uncut, grimy and gritty. It's time for the show. This is my city. This is my, my city. city. This is my, my city. city. This is my city, this is my city I'll let the ladies and the fellas too Got the hot interviews and the hip hop news The skits are hilarious, we live in your area This is my city, this is my city We out here, right in front of the Savoy This is my city Live here on Ed Magic TV. I'm here with my man here, man. What's your name, big player? Yeah, Membrane. Membrane. Yes. From the Membrane, you feel me? Yes. And hey, check it out. My man was walking by. We was doing, you know, the interview with the lovely ladies here. He got the trench coat on. He macking it. He looked like he's serious about his business. So, you know, me being real, I want to hear what this brother got to say. So I'm gonna give him the mic right here. This is my city. We doing it. Inglewood's only show. Check it. Check it out. Yeah, Inglewood and the surrounding cities and counties around you. Let me tell you something. The first thing you got to know and understand about the situation is this here. You the sh and the rest of it is a piece of sh Can you dig that? Yeah, that's what time that is, man, because I ain't finna lie to you, man. If a mother coming to you with some you know what I'm saying? Most likely some gonna get on you. And you gotta know how to shake the off you in order for you to get through the now, I'm sitting over here at the Savoy Club tonight because my <laughs> is hard. I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't looking to catch nothing but a piece of <laughs> out of there. That's it. You know what I'm saying? And when I go to church, I go to see God. But that's it. Okay, so now basically what I'm saying with those two statements is this here. Be careful where you look for stuff at. You can't go to a alley and pull out a cat and think you're gonna wash it out and have a purring feline. Hell no. Go have a cat. You understand that? Ladies, well. you cannot go under the bridge and expect to find me a prince, a black one. Matter of fact, I'm just a prince until my daddy died, then I'll be a king. Can you dig where I'm coming from? This just a little bit of popping in here, you know, like in the Inglewood. I ain't finna lie to you. I'm from the LBC, Long Beach City. I ain't finna lie to you. Long Beach Man, the name is Membrane, for real, man. And I ain't finna lie to you, y'all. I want to send a shout out to my chicken swoop, you know. He can't catch right now, but uh, I'm going to catch four. Can you dig it? All right, right, man. That's right. Hey, hey, Membrane, one more thing, man. Before oh, you man. go, man, check it out. One thing you got to say to the boy Chris Brown, man. You know what I'm saying? If you can give him any words of advice, you know what I'm saying? For real. Only thing I would say to you, Chris Brown, is this here. Do it behind closed doors next time. <laughs> hey, you know, I ain't got nothing else to say. I'm here with two lovely ladies, as y'all can see. Excuse me, miss. What's your name? Goldie. And your name? Cinnamy. Well, ladies, the reason I have you here tonight in front of the Savoy Club, we out here at downtown Inglewood, you know what I'm saying? And first off, 
I just gotta say that we out here to have a good time tonight. This is the place to be. Saturday nights, Friday nights, Savoy Dynasty, Market Street Bar and Grill, Inglewood, all the way, baby. But um, I got a question for y'all. Check it out. If you could tell Chris Brown anything, what would you say? Mr. Chris Brown, the Chris Brown. Keep your head up and stop hitting on women. Don't start it off like that. If you love her, keep her, hold her, and treat her right. Treat her right, huh? So, so there's never a, you know, a right time for a man to put his hands on a woman. That's your opinion, right? That's my opinion. I don't think that a man should put his hand on a woman. You know, walk away. It's better to walk away. She's stupid. She's stupid? Why you say that? Because if he beats your ass today, he's going to do it tomorrow, next week, Monday, Tuesday through Friday. She's stupid. She's stupid. I heard that. I heard that. Uh, did he like it from the front or the back? <laughs> <laughs> just keep your head up, bro. Okay. That's all you gotta do is keep your head up, man. Hey, man, you should be telling Rihanna that. She the one who got her butt whooped, man. <laughs> she should leave him. She should leave him? Yeah. And definitely just go? Go. Step. I'm better. Ooh. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe in hitting the <laughs> unless you come up short, you feel me? But it's other ways, you know what I'm saying? For consequences on the you know what I'm saying? Make the sleep on the floor or some Make the sleep on the bathtub, you know? But you ain't gotta, you know what I'm saying? Hit the you know what I'm saying? Especially a celebrity like her. You up your image, you know what I'm saying? You ain't you ain't a pimp like me, you know what I'm saying? You already got a career, so you, you did. Chris, it's not good. Yo, what up, y'all? We back with This Is My City. I'm your host, Apollo, and we're here on Ed Magic TV. And I'm sitting here with Big Y. Big Y, what up, man? What's going on with y'all, man? You know? Chop it up with you a little bit. This is a man right here who really laid the foundation for a lot of the stuff that you see, you know, in the rap game right now. The million selling artists, you know, uh, artists like Game, Lil Wayne, Jim Jones. This is the man, along with a few other legendary artists, that basically laid the path and the foundation and made it cool and okay to, for people to be doing what they're doing right now. How did you start in the game? The first show I ever did was at Rogers Park, man. Oh, or Heart of Inglewood. Rogers Park, I'll never forget, at a Junior All-American dance. And it was like, here, go ahead and rap. Man, I said some of the worst <laughs> you could ever imagine, and I knew it was bad. I was like, oh, man, try again next year. Next year, rocked it. Right. I went a whole year to get it right, you know what I mean? Right. I used to hang out in the block on 99th, you know what I mean, where we stayed at. And uh, I used to just be outside my radio, you know what I'm saying, rapping my homeboys, you know what I'm saying, I stayed in the building, you know what I'm saying, a little nut and all them, you know what I mean, we stayed in the building, we just rapping, rapping. And there was this dude in there, you know what I mean, named Tony, he wanted to manage me. You know what I mean, he was like, man, I'll be your manager, you can rap, this and that, this and that. And I was like, yeah, so he took me to the studio. First time I'm in the studio, I'm looking at that big ass board. I'm, I'm looking, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm looking at everything. I'm like, damn. You got the mic. And they were like, go right, go in there. You know what I mean? We went in there, whatever, you know, freestyle or whatever. And then it was like, yeah, this is what we want you to do. We want you to make a record about the Lakers. And, you know, we're going to play it in the forum club. And this, you know, Magic them, the Lakers, they're going to play it in the forum. It's gonna be the warm up song. Mm. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, back then, we used to go buy the five dollar tickets at the forum, you know what I mean? Yeah. And walk down and steal seats on the, you know, some games the people ain't gonna show up, you know what I mean? So right. we get seats or whatever. That's man. a trip, man. But that's a real Inglewood yeah, way to I, start, though, to make a song for the Lakers. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I did that. Next yeah. thing I know, I didn't really know what was going on. My mama didn't know what was going on. Long no, no, story short, I had to end up with a deal. I think it was with Warner Brothers or somebody huh. to put this record out. We prize one of them companies. Right. You know what I mean? Somebody prayed. I forgot. Well, all I cared about was my name on this record. I got this. Yeah. My homeboy still got this record to this day. <laughs> You know, you did the shows. You was busy. You was out there promoting yourself. You had your name on the record, all that. Like, what? What transpired that led you up to being on the Banging on Wax album? I was at the house and I got a call from uh, Red Rum. He was like, hey man, you know, they up here, we're doing this album called, uh, we're doing this album called Banging on Wax. I'm like, what, what, what? 
You know what I mean? He like, yeah, it's, you know, it's gonna be bloods on one side, crips on the other side. We're gonna be dissing each other. I said, what? This is never heard of. But I didn't really trip off of it too much. I just heard the album part. <clears throat> and immediately, when Ron said, I was like, all right, I'm with it. Because I knew what my mind was and what I was gonna try to get out of the whole situation. What you doing now and what made you get to that point and what made you kind of flip it up? We developed Checkmate Entertainment. Me and my buddy Wacko, you know what I mean? <clears throat> it was like, I started looking at different things. My daughter is older now and I find myself when I write songs, I try to be more informing mm -hmm. and I try to get people to get more out of my music you know what I'm saying, than just, what's up homie, what's happening, this and that, all the hoopla that you normally hear because the hoopla, what was respected in the 90s is not respected no more musically. Yeah. I am who I am in the streets, so I'm trying to focus on making good records that everybody can buy and get into. You know what I mean? Because lyrically, you don't have I'm to prove doing your for game. The streets and in the streets, <laughs> I've done that. Yeah, yeah. So to get to the next point and to have things that I can be proud of further down the line, mm -hmm. it's like I'm challenging myself to do something different. And I think a lot of artists on the West Coast that have been on, you know, I, I still maintain my gangster. The reason I'm a gangster, I'm big Y, that's who I am. Right. But that don't mean that I don't have to, I have to limit myself to what I want to do musically. And that's what I'm doing now. And I'm opening different doors up and different avenues, catering to the new generation of what I believe is that's going to be and represent the next West Coast phase. Right. With, you know what I mean? All these fly youngsters, you know what I'm saying? The skateboard era, you know what I mean? All that different thing, you know what I mean? Because, you know, what they call so called West Coast gangster rap is not going to bring the positive business back in music to California. It's not going to happen. The industry is afraid of it, music is afraid of it, and companies don't want to deal with the hassle of 30,000 dudes coming with some rapper trying to make a name for itself. I just want you to rep the city, man, for the viewers, you know what I mean? Let them know how we do it right here in Inglewood, the city of champions, man. You know what it is, I'm Big Y, you know what I'm saying? That's Jay out here from Inglewood, California, born and raised, you know what I mean? Y'all know what it is, we got a lot of talent, we got a lot of things coming out here. You know what I mean? Uh, if you ain't never been over here, you need to come check us out. You know what I mean? Don't just pass by the forum, come down Market Street, come through the bottoms, come through everywhere. Check us out, see what's going on in Inglewood. It's a whole lot of com talent coming out through here right now. The new generation of Inglewood is going to really shed some light on this subject of hip hop. So y'all make sure y'all check out what it is. They breed champs, we are champs, the original king. Yo, what up, y'all? It's Apollo, and you're watching This Is My City on Ed Magic TV. And we here on Sunset Boulevard. I'm with my homeboy Porno, and we just gonna get out here and act a fool, and mess around with a whole lot of people, and do what we do. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Y'all stick with us. We about to go to the drive-thru. You know what I'm saying? Order foods that don't exist. You know what I'm saying? Order a Chris Brown, you know, Rihanna Slap Me Burger or something. So let's get out here. This is my city, Ed Magic TV, Inglewood, baby. Are you there? Yeah, man, I'm looking for a burger I saw out in Kansas. I was in Kansas. They had an Ed Hardy burger. No, we're not having You got, okay, let me ask you. Excuse okay. Me. All right, well, there's, okay. there's one more thing that uh, we're trying to get. We couldn't find it in any down here in uh, Los Angeles. Um, do you have the Elder Barge fish sticks? No. No Elder Barge fish sticks, huh? How about, how about the, um, the Shalimar cheese melt? No. No? Chris Brown. Okay. Chris oh, Brown. Slap me. Say the Chris Brown slap me shake. The burger sauce. The steak. What do you... Ask him what time he gets off. Ask him what time he gets off. Alright, hey. Hey, I really need to know something good, buddy. What time you get off tonight? <laughs> Hey, ask all right, Chris all right, Brown no, that's too. cool. I understand you. You probably take it, but I do need a Chris Brown slap me shake. I need one Chris Brown slap me shake. Do, do you have the Rihanna chop steak melt? Okay. 
Hey, that's a good. We can go. We can go. All right, man. Th thank you, man. All right, man. But y'all need to get those three six mafia milkshakes. <laughs> oh, hey, um. You know what? I got something to ask you, man. You know what? Can you guys make my food fresh here? Can you really make it fresh? Yeah, I'll open it. Two minutes. Is that gonna be okay? Okay, okay, that's gonna be cool. I need I need some fried ostrich legs. Ostrich yeah. legs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, some ostrich legs. It's a it's a delicacy where I'm from. So I'm from Louisiana. Okay, we don't have no uh, ostrich legs here. We only got uh, chicken sandwiches and meat. You don't have, I, all right, do you have a Soldier Slim melt? Okay, we don't have that here. <laughs> what about the Soldier Boy potato twist? The Project Pat. Hey, ask about the Chris Brown flattened shape. Okay, um, I need something from your Chris Brown menu. <laughs> do you have the Chris Brown chicken tenders? All right, man, I think that's gonna be. Yeah, that's it. All right, man, that, that, that'll do it. Well, wait, you guys have a city burger? I know you guys have the city burger, right? Barbecue pigeon meat. I'm sorry, we don't have that one. Come on, dude. I just left Sherman Oaks. I bought five city burgers. I bought five city, but I don't mean to get angry or emotional, but I need my pigeon meat when I need it. Chris Brown slap me shit. Alright, 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 I'm on my way. Uh yeah, I'm here about the job interview. Right now? Yes, I'm yes. Busy, but if you don't mind waiting, I'll go ahead and go for you. Okay, okay, um, very quickly. I have a lot of experience. Um, I worked at a few strip clubs. Um, I did a bit of uh, waiting tables at a couple of restaurants. That was back in Kansas. Ask him if, um, ask him if experience. I'm ready to work Im immediately. Um, what's the best type of experience to have? Is, is tossing salad experience a plus? I used to give my salad toss quite often. Will that help? Blue cheese? A lot of women have tossed my salad. Will that help? Okay, um... I did receive a little bit of education at the Academy of Human Sexuality. In England? In England? <laughs> yes. What's the requirement for employment? What's the requirements? You know what, you know what, here. All right, I see that this isn't the best time for an interview, but um, I do want to place a quick order, baby, my dear. Um, okay, go ahead. I'd like to have a Chris Brown Slap Me Milkshake. What kind? A Chris Brown Milkshake with the Slap Me on it. Chocolate, medium or small? Yeah, it's chocolate. <laughs> it's chocolate with a little vanilla. The Slap Me on it. With, with a swirl of strawberry. Does so you want vanilla and strawberry? Uh, I'm sorry, chocolate. Well, but, but chocolate. Right now. Ask all, right, all, all those sound pretty good, but the best thing would be a Chris Brown slap me shake. Okay, anything else? Do you have the Caribbean baby? Do you have the Caribbean mango flavor? No, we don't. You, you don't have a Caribbean mango burger? No. With, with avocados on it? No. And a little bit of cheese on the bun? No. Oh, baby. Uh, a little booty, uh, booty shaped coffee cup, maybe? You guys have a booty juice milkshake? No. What's your phone number? I don't have one. You, you don't? don't have one. Well, can I write you letters? What's your address? So I may go to jail tonight acting like this. What's your address? I'm gonna write you letters. How do you like working in Inglewood? Because we're from Inglewood. Is it fun? This is the city. He like, she said it's pretty good in Inglewood. She's been here for five years. She's been here for like 30, 28, 27. Thanks hey, a lot. You have a good night though, baby. Yeah. We enjoyed talking to you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, baby. Make sure you get that Chris Brown shake on the menu. Get that on the menu for me, okay, baby? Okay.
guys have, you guys have that uh, James Brown torch? It's a big torch. It's, it's for smoking. Uh, Damn, that's big. Yeah, yeah, we need something like this. Is that for like a crack pipe or something like that? That's for crack? Cause that's that's what we're trying to use it for. <laughs> trying to go and have a little bit of fun tonight. <laughs> so then it's for like a, a crack pipe, right? See, cause, cause we are gonna be meeting um, Boots and Collins later on tonight. So <laughs> how much? How much? How much? How much would it go for? With Twenty taxes? bucks. Twenty bucks. How much? How, how much would it cost to smoke crack in here? Would it? And we just rent the place just to smoke some crack for a few hours right here. <laughs> we want to smoke in front of everybody. Yeah. So, you, know, you can make a lot of money. I'm we just going to be out there smoking crack right in here. Ask the boss. Huh? That's you not possible. You we have to come boss? to the business owner yeah. for things like this. He's the owner of this establishment. <laughs> <laughs> Too small. Oh, man. What if we want to nail a couple of ladies in here? We bring some cracks and crack holes over here. <laughs> Nah. You go ahead and bring that. We That's charge cool. 50 cents per day because it's less than some bucks. Oh, you mean transaction fee? 50 cents? All right, go ahead. It's it's okay. Hey, it's but okay. don't knock that out, though. Actually, you know. <laughs> so we can call it. Hey, what's, what's the name of the stand right here? What's, what's the name of this place? Guys, let me it's gonna be changed tonight. It's gonna be. That's the name of this. this that's the name of the shop. Okay. Hey, but what if you name it to the crack house? Just hey, but just think how popular it'd be. Oh, no. Oh, come on, man. No. Where's the ATM machine? Let me just call just, just here. That makes no sense. I, I have $10,000 on this car. Huh? That's what I'm talking about. To, if you if you let us have a uh, you let us smoke crack here, we'll, 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 we'll buy it. Nope. I tried. Yeah, so we had a great time, you know what I'm saying? What's up, porno? You had fun, man? Man, we always have fun. We do it like this. But now it's time to shut this down. Gonna shut it down. It's late. But we gonna keep wreaking havoc on the streets. We gonna keep bringing y'all this show. This is my city on Ed Magic TV. I'm your host, Apollo. This is porno, my partner in crime. Y'all stay tuned. Peace. Be safe. On uncut. Find me and gritty, it's time for the show. This is my city. 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 I led the ladies and the fellas too. Got the hot interviews and the hip hop news. The skits are hilarious. We live in your area. This is my city. This is my city.